Hello Guardians and welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. We have a new global tier list which involves us ranking Haru in this tier list. Where does she um, take her place before the new update comes in including new skins, including 5 star max here. Um, and also I did some changes to the tier list based on what is actually happening already based on playtest, based on player feedback as well. So without further ado, let's check out the new global tier list. At tier D, guys, I'm so sorry. Um, if there are Nita fans out there, Nita is brought down from tier tier C down to tier D. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if... Um, there are a lot of people who are using her for now. I <clears throat> I haven't had any feedback from her. Um, her kit is not really as you know as uh, at par with the others on this list. So again, she will be the lowest at tier D. But for those who are rooting for Cherno, I've had a lot of feedback, and as well, I've I've, uh, I've actually considered that Cherno's kit is. Um, she could be used as a sub DPS if you plan or if you have built her. But again, her place will just be of sub DPS. There won't be at this point. Uh, you have to have a lot of investment in order to make her work with her kit. But again, she's she goes up from tier D to tier C. Haru, um, Haru four star and Enya here have not changed places so so far they're still still with tier c going up another tier which is tier d so we have changes here as well um i think i put mauxer here i'm not sure um no she's she's been here from the last tier list the ones that i have put down here is actually frisha hush uh, Frisha has been going down in value, especially on how, at this point, um, I consider her kit very underwhelming for um, a 5-star or an orange tier. Um, she doesn't have much to bring um, in terms of... Um, in terms of uh, DPS for her for her gun, uh, her ultimate though is fantastic. But again, um, it's still uh, I think her kit is still lacking. Her um, support, as her what do you call this? Her standard skill is still um, useful. It has some utility. She is nice actually to have or to use as a support unit, but. More or less, um, especially for Fanny Coronet, I like the way she um, gives more, um, what do you call this, gives more protection or damage reduction to uh, Fanny Coronet whenever I use uh, Frisha Hush as support. The rest are actually the same. Frisha 4 star is also here. Marian 4 star, Fanny 4 star, Life, Mauxir. Um, Mauxir. Um, her new apparition or her new version coming out. I'm actually curious on where to rank that. Uh, based on what I've seen, I'm still I still need more information on where to rank that. But we that will be for another video. For now, Mauxer is going to be still at tier B. Um, she also she's also actually good as a what they call this as a sub DPS if you need um, additional firepower for your team and also support. Okay, so moving on. So these we have changes. Um, I actually brought up Yao from tier B up to tier A. Um, all the supports here, the major healers and supports here, like Yao, Chen Sheng, and Series, deserve a lot of you know a lot of kudos in terms of how important they are in this game so yao i've elevated to tier a that is where she belongs yao four star i mean chen Xing is here obviously uh, again a good support as well in series they the three or three of them are actually very very nice to have um akasha here four star again a very reliable one if you don't have um the five star version of hers she is actually very very nice to have if you don't have a lot of uh, ops at 
orange tier and we do have Baron Swift here she was already here at tier A but for life wild hunt I'm sorry I I do really need to um, look at you know uh, in perspective uh, what life brings and what are the others to consider in this tier list so at this point um, life has been replaced with as a mob killer by Haru so definitely she goes down um i do love um the freeze that she has um she is i think for me um best in crowd control uh she, she does need a little bit more investment in terms of manifestation um i might consider go putting her up to tier s if i have her ready at full manifestation but again for now um, if you have her zero or up to three or up to sorry zero to two, um, it's, hard, it's really hard to get copies of her, especially if you haven't pulled on her banner and if you're just farming her shards. But right now in the meta that we have, um, life will be partly your support, partly your main DPS, partly your sub DPS. I don't think she can compete with the tier S peeps that i have ready for you so the last on this list is definitely going to be tier s so let's start off with akasha kaguya akasha kaguya is definitely your um one of the best supports that we have here um increasing or decreasing um elemental resistance is applicable to any of your operatives she brings a lot you can carry her as a support with any of your main DPS and she will perform brilliantly. And um, she is actually not bad herself uh, if you opt to have her as a main DPS. But again, her kit is very versatile. And again, the value that she has to be carried with anybody in this, you know, in this, in this, you know, list or roster is actually very, very high. So that is why she's there. She's a must in your primary team. Um, unfortunately, we don't have her yet in the general general pool uh, banner for operatives, but I hope they do put her in that soon. Okay, so Fanny Coronet, again, this girl, massive damage, very simple kit to use. Um, tremendous damage, by the way, um, for her shotgun. For her skills i rely on her so much for bosses especially the tankier ones um very nice damage output i prefer her by the way uh, versus yao but we'll get to yao later again very reliable uh you can't go wrong with fanny coronet haru abscoditus is actually here she basically replaced life wild hunt as your mob killer um, her damage output is actually crazy. Um, if you her alignment index, there's a question whether um, her alignment index is worth investing in. She her alignment index will work best with units that have, that have high defense that you need to ignore. Uh, you need to deal true damage. So again. Um, most of mobs are actually, you know, are actually melting her away. She does have a handicap in terms of larger bosses, in terms of um, armored bosses as well. But she can hold her own, especially with her pistol. So again, a tremendous damage dealer. Um, I never regret pulling for her um and that's it she is going to be staying here guys especially if we do have more stages we're in we need to deal with mobs we need to deal with defense or uh most of the limited stages pertain to mobs not not bosses so again she will be a mainstay and the meta for mob clearing for haru absconditus Okay, so let's move on to our two lovely ladies here who have the highest DPS in this game. We'll go first with Yao Winter Solstice. So how can you go wrong with Yao? Um, I actually have her... Um, I have, I've actually built her kit. She definitely has one of the highest or the highest or 
uh, Chen Xing and her is going to be, you know, it's going to be uh, vying for that spot in terms of the DPS that they bring. Um, again, her kit as a sniper, it is just, um, it's not really for everybody in terms of using a sniper. But once you get used to using a sniper and you are good at, you know, timing, aiming, then you'll be happy that you got Yao Winter Solstice. And to add to that, guys, we will have a new skin um, in a few days, up until November 2. So for the new update, um, definitely going to be getting that skin. So I'm actually tired of this skin, but this is actually nice. And the new one is actually better. So Yao Winter Solstice, uh, I think she really, really packs a punch. And the last one... Uh, and please forgive me, guys, for uh, putting Chen Xing Ethereal Cloud in tier A in my previous tier list. So I do agree with the points that you're saying in terms of DPS that she's bringing. Um, again, um, I'm, I'm, my point is just sometimes it's hard to use her standard skill, especially if you have to be still and to capture everybody in one frame and to shoot those um, darts that are sticking in your enemies. Um, sometimes it leaves you vulnerable. That is actually just my comment. But for the DPS that she brings, um, I wouldn't argue with you guys. And I think her kit is is nice. Her, her ultimate is also tremendous. And that rounds out my tier list. So don't worry, I'll be sharing this tier list in the um, description of this video so again um if you have uh, you know if you agree or disagree with me in this tier list please do mention it i will actually put out another tier list probably after two weeks after we've played with uh Maux here five star let's see where she's placed here but for now these are your ladies and operatives for snow break after the haru abscoditus update so again guys i'd like to hear your comments what do you, what can you say about this tier list and uh hopefully we can discuss so thank you very much guardians for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here